In 2022, Harry Brown won the Formula 3 Drivers' Championship and now finds himself in Formula 2 for the 2023 season and has been picked up by Toto Wolff as he's been signed on to the Mercedes Junior Driver Programme. Toto Wolff has told Brown that if the performances are there, a Formula 1 seat will be there ready for him in 2024 as he is on a one year contract with the Mercedes driver program and he's going to be driving for the BHM team alongside Brad Benavides as he looks to go for the F2 title at the first attempt following the footsteps of the lights of Oscar Piastri. In his first qualifying session in Formula 2 he went purple sector 1 Castle Beth in the second sector and has put it on pole position for the feature race. Hello and welcome to the start of my F124 driver career mode. We're here in F2 as we look to prove ourselves, especially to Toto Wolf, that we have what it takes to go to the top of motorsport and Formula One. And it all starts here in Bahrain. It will end in Abu Dhabi and some European races in between but this is it the first race of the career mode and it's lights out and away we go we start P10 because of the reverse grid situation as we head down towards the first corner then everyone's scattering around everywhere as we look to go right to the inside we're side by side with Oliver Behrman we're trying to get the exit now we're nearly sideways we've nearly hit the back of him but we're up we're past Holly Behrman as now we head towards turn four. They're side by side just in front of us and we fought about sending it down the inside of our teammates. As we have a big, big oversteer moment. These are two cars, very, very fun to drive. As we this time we're gonna go down the inside, both of them. We brush wheels with our teammates. We go off the track and now he's gonna have a look down the inside as we go deep. And that's two locks of contact in half a lap of the career mode with our teammate it didn't take long we're now on the back of a wazza as we've gained two places at the start of the race but these f2 cars very hard to overtake which also makes it quite fun because we really have to work for it but we were just stuck in a drs train behind a wazza which couldn't get close enough to have a go as we were towing our teammate along and we actually got yes, given mate, the, the objective, nice the in-race objective, to get past the Wazza. And we did it pretty much straight away then. We just sent it at the, at the hairpin. This is a replay of the Wazza's point of view. And we kind of were skating we were sideways through the hairpin. We were more trying to keep the car in a straight line than actually overtake him. But once... We got a wazza. We started to get some good pace on these hard tyres as we go wheel to wheel with Pocher. Nearly contact, we get past Pocher now. And now hopefully we can get away. We had great pace on these hard tyres. We've managed to find the groove with them and started to make some ground. Up next is Druvala. Down the inside, we get him fairly easily come get on the exit yes we have next up is the great talent of jack doing this isn't going to be an easy move if we are going to get this done for the podium places near enough as doing and Carrera go wheel to wheel into the first corner and Carrera keeps jack doing behind but now doing's going to have a good run here potentially as we are just lingering in the background of these two, looking for a way past. As this is Jack Dillon now getting closer and closer, he's going to go to the inside of Correa in his Virtuosi. Into turn one, he's just got ahead of Correa. Now it's all about the exit. Correa tries to go to the outside. We've got an unbelievable exit off to turn two. We get past Correa. Now we've got a DRS. We're going to go for the lunge 
on Jack Dillon, but we've gone straight on. We've nearly dropped the back end, and Jack Dillon's gone straight back through to retake P2 up front. Victor Martins is checked out, disappeared in this sprint race. As now we're back to square one to try and overtake Jack Dewan and further around the lap, lap 11 we're going to swap him the dummy and go round the outside at turn 11. It's a great move and we're up. We've just one lap to go now, just the 50% races we're doing in this career mode, so 12 laps. And going on to the final lap, Jack Dewan's going to have us back here for P2. Now we're going to keep it to the outside, but Jack Dillon's got us before we even get to the corner. As as Novelak has found his way through and nearly got down our inside, but Victor Martins is going to round the final corner to win the first race of the career mode. The F2 sprint race is his. We're going to come home to P3 as Jack Dewan just got us at the end. Brilliant stuff from ART today. What a superb victory. Well, it's just the first sprint of the year, but what a great start. They'll be looking to do more of that in the longer race tomorrow. An amazing race today and a very well deserved one too. The team worked very hard to get exactly the right setup out of the F2 car. It works for them and the results speak for themselves. ARTGP winners today. So that is the result then for the sprint race. Our teammate was in P9. That's some good points in the board for the opening race of the F2 season. But now this is the important bit. Let's go to the feature race. The new season starts now. I'm Alex Jakes, Alex Brundle is alongside me and it is time to restart Formula 2. We're so excited to be back. Alex, what are you expecting from this season? Put 22 of the world's best young racing drivers in a pot, some great venues, press go, and it kicks out a champion. I cannot wait to see who comes out on top at the end of the year. Here are the starting positions for today's race. Brown lines up on pole position and it's Enzo Fittipaldi in P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Benavides, Awasa, Teo Porcher, and Deruvula, Duan, Novelak, Correa, Victor Martins, Behrman, Miney, Richard Vashore, Roman Stanek, Hadjar, Hauger, Vesti, Amory Cordiel, Maloney, Leclerc, Boschon, and Jack Crawford completes the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. So here we go then to the feature race for the first time. And we are racing as we get a good launch from pole position. We're now just going to try and defend the inside line. Enzo Fittipaldi is alongside as we go down into turn one. We have the lead and now it's just about getting the good exit off of the corner and we are pulled out quite a big margin already in the opening couple of corners of this feature race into turn four now though we're gonna drop we've dropped the back end we're sideways we've just about stopped the car from going round Enzo Fittipaldi nearly hit the back of us but we've dropped from P1 to P7 and it's just like the sprint race we're back to square one to try and find a way through we're gonna send it down the inside of Jack Dewan they're just a little bit too far back to get him but that's been an absolute shocking start for him for us Toto Wolf isn't gonna like that we did amazing to put it on pole in our first qualifying session in F2 and we've bottled it before we've even completed the first sector as now we're going wheel to wheel with Novelak. It took us a very long time to try and overtake him, to get close to him. We 
because of the DRS train. We've nearly got him now. As now we head down towards turn four, we're going to send it to the inside of Novelak. He tries to hold it around the outside. We show him the door, but we are ahead. But Jack Doohan, who is miles up the road, these soft tyres have felt absolutely horrendous as Novelak re overtakes us. I was just begging for the pit stop when we could go back onto the, to the hards because we were so quick on them in the sprint race. Of course, different track temperatures, different conditions then, but we felt better on those tyres as we're going to send it once again at turn four. We've had a big tank slapper as Novelat tries to get down our inside of us again, but this time the job is done, but Novelak isn't done yet. He's coming back at us as we head down towards turn one. This time though, he does get the job done on us and he will stay ahead. Now can we stick with him and use the DRS and the slipstream to possibly get us back up towards Doohan up the road. As now we head into turn four. At the end of lap eight we are getting to the point now where we're thinking about the stops. Novelak was just pulling away we were just staying in his DRS is I think that's Druval has okay, had a big moment there nearly Let's following us into the pit lane just to keep our and um, our toe basically as we trundle down the pit lane for the first pit stop of the career mode as we go down we've green timed it and now the softs will go off and the hard tyres will go on and it's okay, been a bit of a slow stop because well FT is just one man per wheel, it's nothing like Formula 1. As now we come out of the pits, there is those ahead, I think that's Martans. As we are out quite a long way back, there is a lot of cars in front of us for us to get back through. Of course there's those going a bit longer, I think most of them will be in on the next lap as this is us coming down the pit straight one lap later then and you can see everyone now coming out of the pits after they've made their one and only stop but Novelak has beat us out and so has Oli Behrman we've lost so much time to Novelak because of the tyre temperatures of course there's no blankets we have to get them up ourselves and we've lost a lot of time because of it but Oli Berman is all over the back of Novelak now heading down into turn one the British driver side by side with Novelak Novelak keeps it pinned round the outside he's got a bad exit now but we haven't we've got a good one we're gonna go to the inside we're following his his slipstream as Berman's nearly put it sideways into the wall we've got past both of them briefly Novelak though cuts us back at turn four. We're side by side with Novelak. We're going to keep it pinned down the hill through the S section, but Novelak keeps us behind. He's nearly lost two positions there, but ultimately he's kept us and Behrman behind. And me in the process have got Behrman as well. There's now lap 13 down the inside of Novelak. He's still there. We're going to give him the space. But we are finally ahead. Is Behrman now going to try and go back at Novelak? And I think he is here. He's going to the outside. Novelak defends to the inside. He's going to try and hold it. Around the outside is Oli Behrman. Can he keep it in? We've pulled away now. And he has got the job done. Great move by the man driving the Prima. And now he's caught us up. Novelak started to drop back a little bit. And Behrman's now coming at us down into the first corner and he has got us this is the final lap though of the Grand Prix so we don't want to we have to get this back now we're all over the back of him we're gonna go to the inside we fade to the inside round the outside Behrman doesn't fancy being late on the brakes and we re-overtake him to get that position back Enzo Fittipaldi though absolutely controlled this race after we gifted him the lead at the start he's won it we are going to come home for what i think is a well for p6 in the end after that poor start
So as they climb out of the car, the Carlin team are ready and waiting to celebrate a thoroughly deserved win. Well, they've sent that one, haven't they? Brilliant start to the season, and that's exactly what they wanted for their early points tally. As we can see, it's time for the podium, and I can see the Carlin team underneath our commentary box going crazy as their driver walks out. It was a great win, and it means a great deal to this team. So that's been the very first episode of my F124 driver career mode. We've had an alright start to our F2 career. I don't think Toto was going to be too pleased about how that feature race went. After we put it on pole, we did the hard bit on the Friday and we bottled it at the first attempt. But we still got on the podium in the sprint race. So there's still some positives to take out of this weekend. Of course, Fittipaldi won. And right at the back, Ralph Boschon and Crawford and Arthur Leclerc are your bottom three then who finished the race. These are the driver's standings then course after both the sprint and the feature race. So we are behind our teammate Enzo Fittipaldi leads the world championships just ahead of Jack Doohan by two points. And then we are level on points six back with our teammate and then we're just ahead of Iwaza down at the back obviously it's only been the first two races of the season so there's still quite a few drivers who are still yet to get off the mark this season the constructors championship then and somehow we're top of that we've had a very good weekend in terms of the constructors then we're 11 points clear at the top just ahead of carlin and then it's art in there as well still two teams still yet to score this season but that's been the first episode of my new career mode, of my F124 career mode. I hope you have enjoyed it. It's got eight races in this season. We've had an all right start to our F2 career. We'll go have our meeting with Toto Wolf, see what he's saying, see if he's all right about how things went this weekend. But until the next video then, where we go to Monaco for part two of the career mode. I'll see you then. Goodbye.